Towards the end of this course, I would expect my students to be familiar with the different representation schemes, the classification or the machine learning approaches to be used for data analysis and getting results and comparing different models using evaluation techniques to see which model is performing better. So looking into one of the course projects, what we are doing over here is that we are reading the data and normalizing it, then we are pre-processing it in these parts and next we form different tasks and for that we are getting the input at runtime from the end user. Using their input and the training data that we have got, we are training different models for classification, clustering and sentiment analysis. This is the classifier part where the K-neighbors classifier is being used and is trained on all the training data that was already available while the user's review that was input at runtime is going to be used as the test case for which the label is being predicted. Then we are also performing sentiment analysis to identify the sentiment of the review and finally we are using the nearest neighbors clustering approach to suggest the nearest documents to those reviews. So if we run this, now let's say the statement is I am a huge fan of professional sportsmen. So what the model has done over here is that it has predicted the statement or the document that I have given in the query that it belongs to the sports label or the sports category. So it has automatically identified the category to which my document belongs. Secondly, it has predicted using sentiment analysis that this is a subjective statement that has my opinion about the topic that I am referring to, that is the sports label. My review or my opinion is positive one and it has got a strength of 1.14. Then it's also suggesting me the documents with IDs 4 and 5 that these could be of interest to me as well because primarily they are also expected to be covering the topic sports. Topic 4 has a distance of 1.28 with my review. Document with ID 4 has a distance of 1.28 with my input query and document 5 has a distance of 1.3 with my input query. So this is the most closest and this is the second closest and is suggesting or recommending these documents to me that I could read them as well and they could also be of interest to me. So using this project and this code we are doing three steps all in a single project, identifying or predicting the label of any unseen document. We are performing sentiment analysis on it to predict its polarity and the sentiment score. And we are also suggesting or recommending the closest related documents for the user to read further. This is another project in which we are reading the data about hotel reviews. Their data set is available on the UCI repository. and we are doing some pre-processing on the data and then we are interested in only a certain part of speech tags because what we are doing is to identify the aspects or the features that people have discussed about particular hotels and what they have liked or disliked about them. So we are only interested in different forms of verbs, adjectives, nouns and adverbs. We are filtering or pre-processing our data set so that only the data that is of interest to us can be maintained. Then we are structuring our data set into a matrix form and using topic modeling or the latent directional allocation we are looking for five topics out of the data. In other words we are processing all the data sets and identifying five key subject areas that the users have discussed in their reviews. We are going to call them as the hotel aspects that people have discussed. And when that is being achieved we are also going to perform sentiment analysis and see how people have rated those aspects. So if you run this code, these are the five topics that we have got. Each topic is represented by the 10 most relevant words and followed by the words of a topic that's giving us the sentiment score that is being given by the users to this aspect. So as you can see, the first aspect is about how the hotel is and a wonderful hotel, amazing, and how in general the place is. The second topic covers the aspect service, magical, amazing room. So you can see this is more about the service part. The third topic represents the third aspect of the hotel and there is the time come fantastic love. So again it's like the aesthetic feel of the hotel and then we have a nice friendly food excellent menu price and this aspect covers the menu and the menu their food and the pricings and it has got sentiment score of 1.625 and finally we have got fifth topic that is about attention team fantastic so more like the services or the staff 
and that has got a sentiment score of 1.0. From the unlabeled data, we have automatically identified these five aspects or features of the hotel, rated them against the sentiment scores from the review, and presented the scores here. So this is a very useful outcome for any business organization to see what people are discussing about them and how they are rating those aspects.